Okay, so today I wanted to talk about um, forest safety, you know, walking around the forest in Thailand because, uh, you know, it's covered in rainforest and it's going to be different from the places that you're used to back in America, back in Canada, back in Australia, uh, wherever you're from. So I've spent quite a lot of time in the forest and I mean hours and hours and hours, hundreds of hours, maybe thousands um, over the last 13 years. Uh, because I look for snakes at night primarily. So I'm out a few times a week at night. Sometimes I'm even up during the day. And uh, it's just something I really enjoy. So I spend a whole lot of time in the forest. So I've thought a whole lot about and researched a lot about what is in the forest and what can hurt you. So there's, there's not really that much. Um, the first thing that I want to warn you about is snakes. Uh, there's really only one snake that's, that's a real problem. It's the Malayan pit viper, and it is a brown snake. It is maybe this thick. I'll put a photo of it um, in here right about now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the Malayan pit viper. They come in a couple different colorations. Um, real dark brown, lighter brown, real light, light brown, uh, tan, tannish, uh, more yellowish, you know, um, reddish or pinkish. All of these, all of these colorations, you know, the, the snake really has a, a wide range of that. So you have to look for it. Where you'll find them is primarily at night, but um, I have found them on the trail a couple of times, five times. And I've been up this trail that I'm thinking about uh, f about 400 times. So um, that's not that much, but if you think about it, you know, I've only seen five on the trail and 400 times, but I didn't see every single one that was on the trail, right? So there might be, there might be about, let's say there's five times more than that. So maybe there's 20 out of 400. And that makes it like a little more prob probability that you're gonna see one, right? So you have to be careful. Make sure that you watch every step, even on a, on a trail. They're night snakes, but uh, they can be active in daytime and, and not really active, but they could just be laying around on the path. The problem with this snake is, is twofold. Number one, they, they never move out of the way. Number two, um, the venom is just horrible. It's, uh, it's so toxic. It just destroys everything in the, in the body once it, once it comes in contact with it, like muscle and all sorts of connective tissue and blood and, and everything else. So it's something that you definitely don't want to uh, be bitten by. That's about it as far as snakes. We have, yeah, we have monocled cobras, we have king cobras, coral snakes, other vipers. I mean, you're really not likely to see anything during the daytime, you know? And if you do, you could just, just walk around it. Or, or if you see a cobra hooded up a meter from you, just walk back real slow, you know? And the snake's gonna go away. They don't, they don't come and attack you. They don't chase you to attack you, uh, despite what you may have heard. So, other things that you might really be, you know, thinking about are like tigers and elephants. Uh, I don't go anywhere where there are tigers and elephants uh, and, and other large wildcats like leopards. There's some big leopards here as big as mountain lions. And uh, I just don't go anywhere like that. So I don't, I don't see them. I don't worry about them. I don't think about them. And it's better that way because I sure never want to see anything like that, you know. There are some parks that have them. Um, you can look online, you can look up like range for tigers, uh, where you'll find them in Thailand is mostly along the Burmese border, Burma border and, um, bears, we have bears, Asiatic black bears and Malayan sun bears. Uh, they're here. Um, one person has seen one that I've, that I know about only one person. So, and it was a, it was a baby and, and, you know, this guy just ran away and he was fine. But, uh. Yeah, they're here. They're eating fruit off the trees that has fallen. Maybe they're even up in a tree. Uh, maybe they're around the garbage if they can't find any fruit on trees. So they're here and they're, they're mostly active at night because it's cooler. And they sleep in trees in the daytime. So you're not really not likely to see them at all. But you might. Supposedly they're very aggressive. I have never seen in 13 years a, an article online... Uh, or in the papers back when we had papers uh, about anybody getting attacked by a bear. So probably you're going to be just fine. I wouldn't even think about it. 
elephants. Now that's another problem. <laughs> and I don't, I don't go anywhere where there's elephants, but uh, there's, a, there's a few parks, a number of parks that have them here in Thailand. Wild elephants roaming free. Supposedly they're the most dangerous thing in the forest that you ever want to come across. Um, so be very aware of that. Something else that you might consider is uh, scorpions. You know, a lot of smaller stuff. There's scorpions, there's centipedes, uh, spiders, things like that. Um, in the forest, yes, you'll find scorpions, mostly at night, walking around. But, yeah, they like to go under things. They like to go into things, just like everybody has always told you. Check your shoes before you put them on. Uh, I found a number of scorpions in, in our garage before. I have found uh, scorpions under, mostly under logs, under wood. Uh, but they could be under anything. Uh, they can also be mobile and walking around. So there are no no real deadly scorpions here. But keep in mind that anything that stings you and has venom can be deadly. It, it, it all depends on whether or not you're allergic to the venom. So anaphylaxis, anaphylaxis which is a, a type of shock, can set in when the body is allergic to something. And then the body, you know tries to attack it and, and actually it ends up attacking itself somehow and, and you can't breathe, you, you sweat, you uh, may be salivating, you know, a lot. So I had that whenever I ate the scorpion. I don't know if you saw that video or not, but that's exactly what I had uh, setting in because uh, I, I was apparently allergic to the shell of the uh, scorpion. Here, let me fix this here. So yeah, that's something you have to consider. I've only... I've only been stung by scorpions a couple times just when I grab the vine as I'm running down a hill. So, you know, they're on vines, they're on wood during the daytime, and you might, you might run into one. Uh, the small brown ones hurt like crazy. I had a woman, because I have a scorpion page uh, on thailandsnakes.com, and I had a woman calling me, you know, saying, this is the worst pain I've ever felt in my life, you know? Like she, she had been stung on the finger. And I was like, man, you better go back to the doctor and get another shot of, uh, she had some painkiller. And it, it helped the first time. I told her, just go back and get another one. You know, you can't go through that pain. But I know what she's, I know what she's talking about. I've been um, stung by a uh, stingray in Florida on the foot. It ripped my foot open, the barb from a tail and got the venom inside. And then also a box jellyfish in Maui. And uh, those, the, the pain on both of those was uh, just off the chart. <laughs> just uh, amazing. Um, but yeah, if you get stung on the finger, uh, it's going to really hurt because of course you have all the nerve endings in your finger. Spiders, I don't really think about. Supposedly we have the brown recluse here. I don't know if we have the uh, black widow or not, the red one, the red hourglass one. Uh, I know Australia calls them something different, red backs or something. Can't remember. Anyway, uh, supposedly we have them. I never saw them in the forest ever. I never saw them in dwellings, you know, in the forest, like old shacks or anything like that and that's where they're supposed to be is something like that very sheltered and in a real dark place and i just never saw them i wouldn't think about those too much other spiders yeah they bite they they hurt a little bit not very much oh i wanted to mention that the big black scorpions um that you can see here in thailand uh they don't really hurt that much it, i mean they look crazy like fierce right but uh even less than a than a bee sting so you you'll be fine Another thing you can give a little bit of thought to, but it's the caterpillars. And uh, caterpillars are everywhere in Thailand in the forest. And uh, some of them are stinging. And some of them really hurt. So I ducked under a uh, branch as I was running up a hill uh, on a trail one time in a forest. And apparently I brushed one with my back. Because uh, my back burned in a spot about this big uh, for hours and hours. It wasn't... Like it wasn't unbearable. It was nothing like uh, jellyfish or um, something like that. But still, it's pain that, you, that is annoying. Because especially on your back, you don't even know what, what's back there, right? I, did, I had no idea what got me until I got home. And we found little um, traces of hair and stuff. Um, one thing that you really have to consider is twisting an ankle or something. Like if you're hiking... Say you're even going just a couple kilometers, you're up a mountain, there's hardly anybody there, maybe nobody there, and then you twist an ankle, it's going to take you hours and hours to get back down the hill. It happened to me. 
I twisted my ankle, did like somersaults over it because I was running down the hill. And I uh, hit a root and just did somersaults, like cartwheels down the, down the path until I stopped. I was just so, so much pain, like I was sure my ankle was broke. And I, I just had to hobble down like at a, like a snail's pace. And uh, it took me hours, man, to go just a kilometer. So it can happen. And if you don't have a light, if you don't have a good flashlight, a good torch, um, you're going to be in serious trouble. So I think it's, it's a good idea always to take a good torch um, with you because you just never know what's going to happen. Accidents happen. That's what they're called, accidents. You never know when they're going to happen. Finally, as far as animals that I think about when I'm in the forest is bees. And uh, bees are bees are really horrible here. Uh, you don't want to ever, if there's a bee flying around your face, you don't ever want to smack it or brush it off like this, like start waving your hand erratically. Uh, the bees will take that as aggression. And I don't know whether they make a noise or they leave something in the air like a pheromone, but uh, they're going to bring like another 150 bees around you to sting you. So you should be in a place where you can get indoors real quick because uh, otherwise uh, you're going to have a real serious issue. And they come in seconds. Uh, 30 seconds, you'll have quite a few there. Uh, a couple minutes, you'll have literally 150, maybe more bees all around you. Uh, I used to smack the bees. Like at home in, in America, we just smack the bees, you know, with a towel or a shirt or something. Smack it up against a wall and, and it kill it right there, right? So it doesn't sting anybody. So you do that here, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's got to be pheromone because I, I swung the shirt so fast and hit it, it smacked up against the wall. There's no way it could like, it could uh, make a noise, you know, to warn others or, or say, you know, make a, an emergency call. <laughs> so I think it must be pheromone. So um, yeah, just be very cautious with that. Some people die of uh, bee bites, bee stings, sorry, uh, every year, happens all the time. Monks die. I mean, it's... I don't know why it's usually monks. Maybe that's just who we hear about. And then finally, the last thing that I want to warn you about in the forest. You might think people would be scarier in Thailand to be in the middle of the forest and you come upon some guy with a gun. He's shooting game. I mean, he's shooting like civets or something. and uh, Or he's trapping something. Maybe he's trapping slow loris to put him in the pet trade. You don't know what he's doing. He might be checking his nets because he uh, strung bird nets, you know, between the trees and he, they check them at night sometimes. Um, it could be any one of those. Could be a guy like harvesting like bamboo shoots or something like that because they grow. Uh, it's good to get them when they're short because they're delicious and soft at that time. So it could be any one of these things. Could be rubber tappers. You don't really know why somebody's in the forest, but honestly, in 10 years of being in the forest, quite a few times a month, you know, over and over and over, hundreds of times. I never had one issue with anybody. So usually I acknowledge somebody, they drive they drive by and I, or they walk by and I say, somebody cop, and uh, I might ask him what he's doing, you know, what are you looking for, something like that. He might ask me the same thing, but he sees my snake hook and stuff like that and he kind of figures I'm looking for something scary. So, uh, but yeah, there's never been a problem. But could there be a problem? Yeah, sure, there, there definitely could be. And uh, just be cautious. Uh, for girls, you know, girls in the forest, I think uh, it's got to be extra, you, gotta, you have to be extra cautious because um, just because you have to, there's guys in the forest, there's not girls roaming around, so there's guys in the forest and, uh, you know, bad things can happen. But uh, yes, yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be a girl running around the forest at night here by yourself or with another girl or with another girl and another girl. Uh, I wouldn't be walking through the forest with another guy, just one guy. Um, you just have to really think about it, you know. I would for sure. Um, but so far, no problems. Okay, that's about it. I wanted to shoot outside today. I'm testing the selfie stick. It looks like it's maybe doing okay. Hopefully the sound is good. I got my... um iPhone uh, microphone here so hopefully it'll be all right all right hope that's helpful for somebody and yeah really the forest is generally okay the real things you have to worry about are the little things like the um, tripping over a root or something like that or um, dehydration <laughs> all right talk to you later mm -hmm.